Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episodes 1 and 2 of Simple Gear. Yes, a lot of people are really, really excited for me to do this series, and I do know that I think what last season, like, the last series was, like, showing, and people were freaking out about it and such, and I was like, oh, okay. And then, the funny thing was, because I love, I love talking about this, how this got started, um... One YouTuber who I'm, what I say, I, William Yanway, we're friends, um, kept asking me to watch Simpo Gear, and I was like, at first I was like, mm, I don't know, and I was like, eh, we'll see, and then I want to say the week before the last, no, the week after, no, the week of, the week of the last time he asked me, I go on Patreon. <laughs> no, I don't even go on Patreon. I get an email. <laughs> From Patreon about requests, and then I, I'm like, okay, all right, what's this person want me to watch? And I'm like, da 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 da, and I stop on a word, simple gear. I was like, okay, <laughs> I was like, okay, I was like, yep, now I kind of have to watch it. So, and it was funny because when we were doing, um, I think the Nerds of the Round Table thing that I did with Corey and Crew and a couple other guys, uh, he asked me about it, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a Patreon show, so I, I gotta wait until I'm done with one show, just do another. So, the only thing that I, like, immediately remember about this series <laughs> that <laughs> the same person showed me is that there was one transformation with a girl, and she was using a strip of wool, so I, w I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I, I watched it by myself, just like that one, and I was like, yeah, okay. I was like, okay, alright, alright. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Hell, I even tried to do shit. She not having a good day. And she has lilies. Is she going to a grief? Holy shit, why am I getting AKB48 like feels with this now? Oh my god, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. She has a time. That's the girl. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait. Your girl already fucking confused, but hold on. So she gonna be a robot? Okay, two years ago. I tried downloading this on Yan, and for some weird reason, I could not download it. But, yeah. So I had to go on go-go. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to be like that one movie that I um, streamed and then following, like, I wanted to stream the next movie the next day and I got, like, a copyright strike and they took away <laughs> my streaming privileges for, like, a week. <laughs> Some of y'all may not remember that stream, but <laughs> the people who do. Because <laughs> I was already the following Friday. Like, yeah, let's watch the next movie. No.
Yeah, this is like giving me so many feels towards AKB. Yeah, little 48. Except the fact in AKB, they weren't magical girls. They just kick ass idols. Nothing else. So I'm guessing the area is also strong in this show. Okay. You know what? I'm also going to go ahead and ask this question now. Who's best girl? Because I feel like there's probably a lot of best girls in it. And we're just getting to like the start of it. <laughs> Okay, so I do got one more question. Are we going to find out, like, basically how Kibiki died? Because something about this. Like, how in the world? Who opens a show? Like, mm, let's go into the future and let's go in the past. All right, let's find out how Kibiki died or such and such died. Like, bruh. The fuck? Okay, I mean, damn, yeah, that looks a little bit better, but. See, my guess is this is going to be a really, really good series, but then there's going to be really, really sad parts and really, really bad parts, and I'm not ready for this. Like, this is 65 episodes, and I'm not ready to sign up for this. All the emotions, the Yuri, the trauma, like, anything, it's going to be too much for me. You know how I am during Monogatari. Imagine this times a thousand. <laughs> Hey, shut it down. Shut the fuck down. Go lay down, Cody. See, it, it's like so hard. <laughs> I don't want it all oh my god, dog. <laughs> and you go. You can't just hop up like that, weirdo. I don't need you to get hurt. Oh, what the f
Um. Oh damn. Huh. But damn, you little girl. I mean, the other girl died too. But you know, I mean, damn. But still. Is it a possibility that one of these two girls is probably going to die by the end of this episode? Maybe. Like, just that weird feeling I have right now. Okay, my little attention whore. Man, you, you gotta go over there. Go on the- no! Go on the bed. And is that going to go inside Hibiki for some weird reason and then we're not going to know anything about it until like episode two? You know I got to ask questions. <laughs> But the biggest thing is somebody's going to be like, I can't tell you anything because of spoilers. And I'm like, yeah, you can. <laughs> She's the only one who still... No, fuck. Oh, Kanade is gonna die. Oh, 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 shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's a lot of blood. This is gonna give me Yuki you in the fields, ain't it? See, no. <laughs> I don't wanna do it like that. I'm guessing she, yeah, she's gonna die by the end of this. Oh, fuck. Um...
I feel bad for Shubhas because that was our part and we were supposed to be together no matter what. And then this happened. It's not fair. Oh. So my thing is, like, they probably faked her death. Uh, okay, back to the present. Okay! Yeah, so they live at school, just like Revy Starlight, like Katsu, any other idol anime that I've seen. Okay, I would have assumed that Sabasa would have like retired or some shit, but okay, no. That's fine, my book. Go ahead, be a solo, be a Beyonce. Mm hmm. And it's funny that it kind of looks like, oh my god, what was that freaking musical symbol? I don't remember. It's been a long time since the chorus. The one that looks like a really weird F, it's shaped like this, and then like that. That simple. <laughs> if you know your music score. <laughs> Is there never a day where these things are not going to come? This is now twice, several years later. Well, um, hold on. No shit, Sherlock. But you need a partner, though. You can't be doing this by yourself, girl. Like, don't make her wrong. Like, she's a badass motherfucker, you know. But shit, like... I think because of the fact is that Kanade died, you know, of course she's gonna blame herself for it at the same time. But... She seems like she's the type of girl that after having your first partner die, she doesn't really essentially want anybody else and, or need anyone else. She's like, fuck it, I can just do it on my own. Wait, she's here at the school? Oh! You have rice on your face.
Mm. Should have pre-ordered it. <laughs> and then she's gonna get there, and there's gonna be no more copies. Oh, turn, turn around, turn around. Oh, fuck. He, he better save that little girl. I mean, even though we know you, what, supposedly died, but save the child. What fucking trip. I don't think so. I think you'll be okay for now. Oh, you <laughs> doing I don't know, jump off the building and then hopefully... That scar, right? Like, not it? Holy shit. Is this show on Witchblade on me? You wait, you son of a bitch. 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 You son of a bitch! Why would you do that, no? I knew we were getting close, but you- It's just like, no. You are right there! Just, oh my god, why? Why? See, this show. This show gonna be like Monogatari. Exactly like Monogatari. With the random kind of cliffhangers. Just like any other show that I've seen that has the random ass cliffhangers. You'd be like, mm, yeah. Gotta wait till next week. Okay, so it does give me a lot of feels towards AKB Zitazita 48. Um, but there is slight like, differences for it. The thing, the thing that's like big, like, the thing that's similar is the fact that it does take place in the future. These girls are both girls are idols. They both fight. But the AKB Zitazita 48 girls don't look like that. That's the thing. They're still idly, you know, in their dressy outfits and stuff, but they use, like, 
<laughs> there mites to fight and stuff because there'd be like lasers up in that bitch and a whole bunch of other things. I mean, because it's been like what two, two almost three years since I've seen I did a reaction on AKB 48. Um, this I mean, okay, I was not expecting Kanade to die in the first few minutes. Like even when I was saying, okay, when is like I think she's gonna die, I wasn't really expecting it because I was sitting here thinking. In the future, she's okay. Her and Tsubasa, they're still together. The Yuri is strong in this bitch. But, no. I, I get it. The reason that she had to die was to save Kibiki. But now I still got a question about that first few minutes in episode of this episode. <clears throat> where her friend goes to her grave. But she's alive. So it, it seems like they have to fake her death. Something's happened to her. So now her friend can't see her anymore. But, it, uh, uh, girl, boy, I don't know anymore. I, I really don't. It, it like, it, I think this is going to be one of those shows that I'll just like, with Yuki Yuna, a magical girl rising project. <laughs> Any sort of magical girl show. I'm going to get too attached to these characters. And then slowly but surely, there's going to be some that are just going to die. They're not going to make it like, all the way through the newest series that just came out recently. Just finished recently. I'm not ready for this, even though I am. But, like, I mean, I, I feel like this is going to be really, it's going to be really, really good for me. And it's going to be really, really sad. And I'm probably just going to be sitting here after I've done a reaction on it on whatever episode where somebody else dies. That's why it was like, to me, especially when Kanade died, it just, I, I, I felt something, but then at the same time, I couldn't because of the fact is it is so freaking quick. And you, they, like, okay, yes, they build up her character. And so you do kind of know a little bit about her. But I think if I, if, we, if it would have been the last episode in this series, if she wouldn't have died until episode 13, then yes, you would have probably saw my ass crying. But because of the fact is that she dies in the very first episode in, like, 11 like under 15 minutes it just felt like okay I can't really cry at this but I can sympathize over it because like I mean that like when you're in a band or in a girl group or a boy group and somebody like dies and you've been a part of that group or fans of that group for a long time then yeah you can sympathize over that but like because of the fact is the connection or like um establishing like me with the character and how I'm supposed to think about the character it just felt like nothing was there yet. So I hope that with this series about, well, not mm, from episode two to episode 13, because even though I'm about to watch episode two in a couple of seconds, um, Subasa does talk about her, about what she was like before she passed. That's all I want to know. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay. Episode two and three, two, one, go. Be an opening. Nice. It's gonna be probably like something where she's like, oh hey, you know, she's gone. But she's not real well no, she's dead, but she's not really gone. Like I feel like Kanade <laughs> Kanade's soul. And don't spoil me on this. I swear to God, I don't want to get spoiled on anything yet. I feel like Kanade's soul is like somewhat inside of PBK now. Because of this. Maybe. What was the girl who just, you know, held her hand out? Was that best girl? I don't know. I think that was her again. I don't really know. I mean, okay, Hannah, let's also, you know, there's two now, but then by the time we get into what, I think the next one is G, 
there's going to be more girls and more girls and more girls and more girls until we get to the last damn series. Until there's probably going to be like 300 girls. And then I'm going to be like, well, damn, who's best girl now? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I mean, you know, for her first try, I mean, she's doing, <laughs> she's doing good, though. Hmm? Say Okay, I think she meant to do that, but okay. So we are going to say now that Subas is best girl for me. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, she's badass. But she blue. Usually the blue magical girls are the best magical girls. I'm just saying. But then there's always going to be that one girl. There, we're going to get like three or four episodes later into this damn series. And then there's going to be somebody better. Maybe. Hmm? Damn, girl. So we're we gonna take Hibiki in or nah? Um, cause I would assume that you would take her in. <laughs> Ask her some questions. Fact is, I'm wondering why the fuck she hasn't transformed back yet. Cause Google. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh -huh. huh. Or Okay. Okay, well, you ain't going anywhere. They have questions. Damn, they, they just... Whoa.
their base is at the school, honey. <laughs> you know, just how like the giraffe and Ruby Starlight, the stage within the fucking school. Why? <laughs> yeah, I mean, shouldn't she be let out first and then she can take pictures and pose? Okay, I'm just going to call you Kaza. Uh, okay. No. The right guy is so strong. <laughs> Okay, hold up. See, this is now what I think it is. That part where Miku goes to her grave, that is supposed to be happening at the end of the series. Episode 13. So this is leading up to that. But we know she ain't gonna be dead. Or is she? Well, no. Y'all know. I don't know anything.
<laughs> but you're not together anymore, Kanade. You die. So basically, her her dear when he died, he he. That's why. Okay, is is that the thing? Yeah. I also feel that because of the fact is that he he is a part of this now, there's going the relationship between her and Miku. It's not going to be the same by the time it finishes. Okay. Do we really have to lock her up again? And so these relics make her transform, supposedly. I also felt like Zubas was going to be a major bitch to but you know what? I don't know what I have to say about that yet. It's the only episode two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But unless, like, the thorns that were... Well, I see shards inside of it, so... Could one of those be her relic? Mm. So basically her relic, yeah, it went inside of her. Boss is gonna have a really hard time with something that. Yes, you can't tell me.
Mm -hmm. Spots over here like, bitch, I work alone. We got five minutes left. I swear to God. Don't do clipping on me today. I don't want to wait until this weekend or Monday to watch this. Maybe Friday if I have time. But she needs to really just look. We want her to level up, right? So she's got to go out there. One thing I did want to say that I didn't say in episode one, she doesn't hesitate as much as she did in the first episode. Mm -hmm. She's going to push her, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, 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 Subasa. No, 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 girl, girl, no, 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 no. When she meant by that, she meant together. I know she did because I was like, mm, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think she's going to kill her, of course, because there's no reason to. But, I mean, she has a lot of anger inside, and I think with Tsubasa going against Hibiki in between 3 and 4, it's somewhat possibly going to be like a closure for her to officially kind of move on away from the fact that, yes, Kanade is dead and Kanade will never come back. It is so weird saying Kanade's say name because I don't watch the Cinderella girls because there's another girl named Kanade. <laughs> and I want to cry. And you're like, oh my god, no, but she ain't dead. But I, I get that feeling. Of having someone like that. You're just like, you know, hey, you're not such and such. You're never going to be such and such. Even if we sit here and fight or I yell at you. It's just that she needs that closure. Just to not get over it, but to move on from it. Because you can tell from her body language. And the way that she's very defensive. That she is hiding a lot of stuff in her feelings. She is a lie because she is a blue magical girl. Not all but blue magical girls do this, but some blue magical girls do this. They typically do not like to help, uh, like show their feelings. It's the same thing with purple magical girls, like especially if you've seen like um, Tokyo Mew Mew, uh, Mew Zakuro, any almost any character and pretty character does that, where it's like, hmm, I don't really want to show my feelings because I don't want to seem weak. And I don't want to say, I mean, I'm not saying that Subasa is weak. Like, she's very strong. She's very badass. But it's just, who knows how long. I, I mean, it's been like, it said, what, two years since this? Um, how much, like, she's all that pent-up energy, that regret, the remorse, that anger, every emotion that she's feeling about this moment. Hell, she probably replaced that moment in her mind again over and over and over and over again to think about what she possibly could have done to prevent Kanane from going to singing that song and you know killing herself I mean I also have a question about the noise like where the hell did they come from like I mean are they going to like we I now know what they are but it's just like what the hell came up to these things to be created um <laughs> you know, like, is there another way besides doing this to just kill them? Um, who created them? How are they created? Because things that, you know, some of the questions that are probably not going to be answered until, like, later on in the series, like, either season two or season three, maybe. But, I mean, yeah, I, I really like Subasa. I just, I want her to just move on from this. And I know it's going to be hard because Kanade was, I don't want to say her everything, but because of the fact is that they were a idol um, an idol unit, it seems like, yeah, to her, um, she was her everything for her, and that she really, truly cared for her, and that they saw each other, and it, like, for me, they, I can't say, like, I can't say them as, like, oh, yeah, they're just best friends, they look more like, oh, hey, the Yuri, and that's it, like, no matter what, that's the Yuri of this, <laughs> like, I feel like, after up between <laughs> Kanade and Tsubasa in episode one and um, Miku and Hibiki in this episode, there's going to be more and more girls where the Yuri is just going to be strong and I'm just going to be a girl a lot. And yeah, and I can't wait to see it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction features episodes one and two of Simpho Gear. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchup Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the Patreons, and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys!